Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Suresh Venkat. I have the pleasure of being your host this evening. Welcome to the 2020 edition of the Economic Times Innovation Awards. Economic Times Innovation Awards 2020 celebrates the best of Indian innovation. From startups that disrupt established giants to large conglomerates who are learning to be nimble again, innovation cuts across categories. Innovation creates new markets, reduces costs, simplifies logistics, adds customer delight and most importantly, increases profits. And yet, it's extremely difficult to define what exactly innovation is. Perhaps we should turn to a quote by Albert Einstein who said, Creativity is seeing what everyone else has seen and thinking what no one else has thought. Today, we honor 10 companies who followed Mr. Einstein's advice. When we launched the awards process this year, we received more than 1,250 nominations from 950 companies. These were filtered and shortlisted before being handed over to our esteemed jury for the final selection. The Economic Times would like to thank members of our jury who helped us pick its winners. S. Ramadurai, former Vice Chairman, TCS, Dilip Sangvi, Managing Director, Sun Pharma, Pawan Goenka, Managing Director, Mahindra and Mahindra, Vidya Shah, CEO, Edel Give Foundation, Milind Atre, Professor, IIT Mumbai, and Vani Kola, Managing Director, Kalari Capital. We also thank our knowledge partner, Bain and Company, and a special thanks to our presenting sponsor, SAP Labs. To kick off proceedings, may I request Ravi Shankar Prasad, Honorable Minister for Communication, Electronics and Information Technology and Law and Justice, Government of India, to deliver the keynote address. In the matter of great assurance and also excitement for me, that ET Innovation Award has managed to attract 1250 nominations from 950 companies, diverse and also very powerful. This shows that innovation is becoming a key benchmark of India's economic discourse. India with its wide, extraordinary population, human resource and a tech-savvy temperament is a big potential of huge data resource. Our government is very keen that India has got all the potential to become a big data economy. Recently, I opened the second biggest data center and the biggest of Asia in Mumbai, again the private sector. Public sector and private sector both must contribute the data center so that they should work together to make India a good, effective center of data cleaning, of data processing, of data innovation. And talking about Economic Times Innovation Award, I think data-linked innovation is going to have a very, very promising future. I am very clear, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, this innovative spirit which Economic Times is promoting is indeed a welcome development. But again, we should repeat, have the best innovation from as many companies as possible. But you also become inclusive. Encourage innovators who are sitting in small towns and Tasbars of India, who have a dream, who have a mobile in their hand, who have a vision and courage to explore. Let economic times also give them a hand of encouragement. Thank you. Namaste. My greetings to all of you. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, the Economic Times Innovation Awards seek to identify and reward innovation across business models, processes, products and technology. We are looking at innovations that have hit the market and made an impact, not just ideas on a drawing board. I know, I know, we're all excited to hear about the winners, so let's get started. Our first category is Business Model Innovation. The category focuses on new models of delivering products or services to the customer. 
It may include innovation in the profit model, the consumption model, operating model or any other aspect of a company's business model. The winner for Business Model Innovation 2020 is Bajaj Finserv Direct. On behalf of Bajaj Finserv and the young two-year-old team of Finserv Markets, I want to thank Economic Times and the esteemed jury for honoring us with this award. So what does Business Model Innovation mean to us? It means we innovate for the customer by curating a set of financial services, products and solutions which you offer on our marketplace. And at the same time, we also need to deliver a highly successful platform business model. This award motivates us to continue on our journey of innovation. Next, we have a category for process innovation. In this category, we looked at new methods or models in operations or supply chain the drive competitive advantage. The winner of Process Innovation 2020 is Sterlite Power Transmission Limited. We are absolutely delighted and honored to receive this award. At Sterlite Power, we believe that our core purpose is to bring power to the last 2 billion people in the world who yet don't have access to reliable power. So how, do I, how does one deliver power, uninterrupted power, to the last 2 billion people while at the same time keeping global warming at under 2 degrees? We are delighted because this, these accolades like this encourage us to work harder and harder, question the status quo, change the rules of the game, and move us inch by inch towards our vision and mission. Infosys founder N.R. Narayan Murthy once said, every day our most precious assets leave at 5 p.m. and come back the next day at 9 a.m. People are the very core of any business. People drive innovation, but what drives people? That's exactly what our next category is about, people innovation. The winner of People Innovation 2020 is Amazon India and Tech Mahindra. Hello all, we are thrilled to hear that our experiment with the Alexa pod at the Hyderabad campus has been selected as People Innovation of the Year at the ET Innovation Awards 2020. As we expand in India, it is critical that we help our employees, especially our new hires, get access to information in a friction-free manner. This helps them integrate easily into our culture, understand our best practices and our leadership principles that guide us every step of the way. Thank you, Economic Times, for this recognition. I'm sure it will inspire our teams to continuously improve and scale this experience. Thank you, The Economic Times, for recognizing Tech Mahindra as the winner of the People Innovation of the Year Award. It motivates us because to us, the differentiator of Tech Mahindra has always been how we innovate, how we deliver value to our employees and more importantly, how we converge together innovation and people to make a unique customer experience. Let's move on. Our next category for the evening is new product or service innovation. This category looked at innovative offerings recently launched that are clearly differentiated from competitors. The winner of New product or service innovation 2020 is Doji. Thanks a lot, E.T., for choosing us for this award. We started almost five years back with a very simple vision of simplifying healthcare, making it more accessible for not just people of India but even outside as well. In the uh, testing times like COVID, uh, in fact, we were able to deliver a lot of our promises as well by empowering multiple COVID care centers, hospitals, home health care services with our step down ICU services. Our next category is marketing and brand innovation. In this category, we looked at changes in positioning, placement, brand, and advertising that create additional value or efforts that impacted customer experience or interactions at the point of purchase. The winner of 
Marketing and Brand Innovation 2020 is HDFC Bank. We are very thankful for the award. We also feel that we are very happy that we changed our understanding and brought about that brand innovation, product innovation, marketing, customer experience is all linked to provide better service and better value to shareholders. I wish ET all the best for the function. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Puri. A huge congratulations to all our winners and nominees so far. Clearly, you guys have done a tremendous job. Before we move on to our next categories, let's pause for a moment to hear from Sindhu Gangadharan, Senior Vice President and Managing Director, SAP Labs India. The very rapid and abrupt changes caused by the pandemic has necessitated business leaders to look at better ways to address three crucial issues. Enhancing their business process, building a robust supply chain, and ensuring an uninterrupted remote work environment. Therefore, the goal of all organizations, irrespective of their size, is to use technology to be more efficient, more effective, and sustainable. The pandemic has proven that the world can rally around quickly and combine efforts to mitigate a crisis. That is the kind of collaborative effort that we need from leaders across all sections of the society to make the world more sustainable. Now, since SAP entered the R&D space in India back in 1998, we have grown into becoming the second largest R&D facility for SAP outside our headquarters. By embracing innovation, we deliver cutting edge technologies and build close relationships with our customers, partners, as well as the industry ecosystem. I thank the esteemed jury, all the nominees, Economic Times, Bain and Co for being a part of this event. And now we move on to our next category for the evening, AI Innovation. In this category, we look at the application of artificial intelligence and advanced analytics to drive better business outcomes at scale. The winner of AI Innovation 2020 is Drona Maps. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the team at the Economic Times for this wonderful recognition. Um, we're really, really proud of uh, being able to serve our country by deploying large-scale drones across the country and gathering billions of points of data in geospatial intelligence across urban, rural, and agricultural landscapes. We were enabled on a very large scale to be able to perform across the country at 600 different service points and seven different states. Uh, by organizations like NASCOM, to whom we'd like to dedicate this award to. They've been our ardent supporters and really long-time uh, uh, helpers with, who have really uh, helped us scale out across the entire country. Congratulations, Zona Maps, for a job well done. One of the biggest challenges humanity is going to face over the next century is the challenge of climate change. Humanity needs to find sustainable solutions and find them quickly. Now in this category, we looked at the efforts that seek to reduce negative environmental impact of a company's operations. The winner of innovation to drive sustainability 2020 is the Fee Factory. Thank you Economic Times and the entire jury for bestowing this great honor upon us. I'm extremely happy and glad to accept this award on behalf of the entire team at the Fee Factory. We at Fee Factory strive to contribute to both environment and economy with each and every of our products. Our first product GFP, which is a paper editor, has the potential to save three well-grown trees for every ton of craft paper produced. In the first two years of operation, we have produced around 2,500 tons of GFP-graded craft paper which means we have saved 7,500 trees globally from being consumed into paper form. With the motivation received from this award, we are confident to continue the momentum and the spirit of innovation. Thank you so much. 
and that is truly business with a purpose. Now for those of you who are setting up innovation departments in your companies, here's the bad news. Innovation cannot be a department in your organization. To be truly successful, your entire organization needs to imbibe the spirit of innovation. That's why our next category is called, quite simply, the most innovative company. The winner of the most innovative company 2020 is RPG Group. We are truly humbled by this honor. The formal innovation agenda at RPG was seeded in 2016 when we launched our new vision to unleash talent, touch lives, outperform, and be happy. Our philosophy on innovation is based on the tenet of making a positive impact on business, our customers, and our communities. Dealing with COVID in our group companies and for finding quick solutions for community has tested our innovation capability. Our teams put their creativity to use to uh, innovate a remote temperature thermal scanning instrument which also registers attendance and we also have innovated a digital social distancing tool. We also quickly co-created a low-cost ventilator which we gave to many hospitals in the country. These are just a few examples of how our innovation capability has been put to use in this recent difficult times. And I'm hopeful that these achievements continue to inspire us to push the limits. Thank you, Mr. Goenka, for the inspiration. And now, for our final category for the evening. Now, startups, by definition, have to be innovative. They don't have the capital or the muscle that large companies have. They're also hungry, young, and nimble. The fight for being the most innovative startup was a hard-fought fight. The jury had a tough time picking the winner of the most innovative startup. The winner of most innovative startup 2020 is Late Game. I want to thank the esteemed jury and the honorable minister for presenting this award to us and it would be my honor to accept this on behalf of Raid Gain. This is really a testament to all the hard work and commitment of each member of the Raid Gain team. We have decided at Raid Gain that we are going to double down on innovation through our new initiative called RG Labs. We are using robust AI ML models to help our customers acquire and retain their customers. Gain's core is to provide revenue maximization opportunities to the hospitality and travel industry. And today we have a bigger responsibility of creating innovative solutions that help the industry tide through the crisis. But we are also hoping that we will help the industry capitalize on the demand as the recovery happens. Congratulations, Gain. Bhanu Chopra of Gain there talking about why companies should double down on their innovation efforts in times of crisis. Thank you, Bhanu. And a big congrats to all our nominees and winners for the evening. But we're not done just yet. In fact, we've got something really cool lined up for you. We have with us today the Woz himself. Yes, you heard me right. We have Steve Wozniak, Silicon Valley icon, tech entrepreneur, philanthropist, and most importantly, co-founder of Apple Computer here with us today. Steve is going to be in conversation with Bodhisattva Ganguly, Executive Editor of the Economic Times. Over to you, Bodhi. Welcome to the second edition of the ET Innovation Awards. I'd like to welcome Steve to the event. Um, Steve, thank you so much for doing this and for agreeing to take a few questions from me, as well as a group of Indian CEOs. The first question is from a gentleman called Sanjeev Bajaj, who heads a, actually a very large and a very uh, profitable Consumer, it's a big consumer finance company which also has an insurance this thing. So his question is, uh, Steve, you've been, I'm just reading this out, you've been an innovator from the early days at Apple to the various initiatives that you're involved in currently. Some innovations, as we know, are about technology breakthroughs. Others leverage new methods of distribution. I wanted to ask you, in your opinion, uh, uh, for a consumer products or a services company, what are the capabilities that they should uh, that they should build in order to drive innovation. 
Well, all my life of technology, I've sort of watched, you know, what wins and what loses and attracting consumers. It's a marketing concept, and I'm not really a marketeer. And uh, sometimes I, I feel a market in myself. But I wish that um, we had uh, products that succeed, in my mind, that succeed the best, are ones that feel more like a human something I want to use as a human, like a human friend and the way it addresses me. So I get very much involved with the user interface and its quality. So I just switch back to some questions about Luke. You have four giant, uh, four or five giant corporations, you know, obviously Apple itself, Amazon, uh, you know, Microsoft and Google, uh, right? And you have also a big bunch of big Chinese companies. Uh, what I'm going to come at is that will it be difficult for a new Apple to come up to which might challenge uh, any of these four giants in their areas today? I think it should be as, as easy as it's ever been, not formidable. And the reason is, is Apple came from a place of just natural curiosity that we all have. Here's something in life. Here's something I can do a little better. Here's something I have skills at. Here's something I value. I'm going to add more to it. Um, and the trouble is you can't predict these huge things that come from nowhere, Apple coming from two small kids. In the early days, all the big computer companies said it wouldn't go, and you know, and that was sort of the story that was being told and you know, widespread. So it's very difficult to predict in advance, even while it's happening. Uh, so one quick question on, on, uh, on a COVID-related question. Uh, uh, you know, in, in uh, you know, Walter Isaacson's biography of Steve Jobs and uh, uh, one of the things, for example, of Apple officers uh, is supposed to be the fact that they were designed in such a way that people could bump into each other in corridors or at the water cooler, and, and that's where the best ideas would come from. So in this context, what is your view of work from home? Actually, I worked at Hewlett Packard before Apple, and we had deliberate twice a day meetings around the equivalent of a water cooler. It was a bunch of coffee and donuts would be rolled in, and that was a really good thing. And I don't know, I think today that applies just as well. But now we have COVID, so we're at home. But you know what, back then we didn't have the internet, the social networks, the video sharing, the Zoom conferences. So now it's really, you can be pretty close and have those kind of chats. Thank you, Steve. Um, uh, thank you for taking on these questions. I thought it was a rich and uh, informative uh, discussion, touching on many aspects uh, of contemporary, great contemporary relevance. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Best to you. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. And thank you, Bodhi. That brings us to the end of this year's edition of the Economic Times Innovation Awards. Once again, a big thank you to our presenting sponsor, SAP Labs, and our knowledge partner, Bain & Company. And finally, a big thank you to all of you, audience members, winners and nominees. We're so happy that we got a chance to celebrate your brilliance. I'm Suresh Venkat, signing off. Thank you for watching.